Okay, I'm not entirely sure what is going on, but something happened with the bit. Do you know what? Previously on Delos, we started our sail down the coast of Madagascar and explored the amazing Maramba Bay. Mr. Brady. Hey, man. Brady. Hey. It's time to wake up. Are you, uh, are, you are you decent? Uh huh. Oh, it's like nine, bro. Is it? Yeah. Oh, shit. Are you ready to go to Africa de Sud? It's a beautiful morning, huh guys? Yeah. Oh yeah, it is. Really calm. Going to South Africa. How are you feeling? <laughs> We're leaving our beloved Madagascar. And it's really sad, like, I don't know. This place is so special to us and I just love it so much. And it was kind of the, the highlight, uh, the highlight to our whole season. And what, three and a half, almost four months just flew by like nothing. Madagascar was the reason we decided to go against the winds and currents, heading back to the Indian Ocean for a second year. And the jewel of an island did not disappoint. What really makes a place special for us is the people we meet. <laughs> the people that welcomed us into their country, into their villages, and left us with lifelong friendships. Now we're off to South Africa and it's like 1400 miles from here. So I think it'll take us like eight or nine days maybe. Then we have a whole nother adventure ahead of us then, so it's all good, but it's, it's a little sad leaving. It's a very special place for me and I think for all of us. Yeah. So Jens, what do you expect from this passage? Ha, I really don't know. I mean, it would be the first time that i out on the ocean for this long. So how long is your longest passage then that you've done? Uh, it was, I guess, 180 miles. <laughs> so this is a lot longer. <laughs> no. Yeah. So it would be interesting, but you know, we want to do something the same to bring our boat over the Atlantic. So this is maybe kind of a try run to yeah. see if we can do it. What do you think is going to be the most challenging for you? To not get seasick. <sighs> It should be about maybe nine days or something like that. Yeah. So one and a half week. Yeah, would be cool. Would be good. I guess. So, hey. Bye bye, Madagascar. Good job, flag. Two seasons. Yeah. Now you are retired. <laughs> We're out. So we are finally off. Or finally, I guess it feels real weird though. But I feel real excited too. Like we just left and it's no wind right now, but it will probably pick up in a few hours. And we had about the eight day sail and I feel really good about it. 
it's going to be nice to kind of get into the passage rhythm and just, I don't know, just to relax and kind of get some work in hopefully. It's not going to be too, too rough and stuff. And then we're going to get into South Africa, which I feel really excited about. First day out, we just left land. And I'm making some Mexican chicken for lunch today. So I've got some chicken breasts out. Yeah, defrosting. Chopping up some onions, some garlic. Put some cumin in there. We don't have any cilantro. We don't have any other Mexican ingredients, but I'm gonna Mexify the shit out of it. <laughs> Beef stock. So having this thing on the boat, pressure cooker, is awesome, especially for packs and passages, because you just chuck a bunch of good shit in there, like I'm doing today with the Mexican stuff. And you just lock it up, put the lid on, turn the oven on, it comes up to pressure, or turn the stove on. Once it's up to pressure, you turn the heat down, and then it pressure cooks it. Keeps all the goodness inside. Jens and Uli had their own boat in the Med, but long distance sailing on the waters around South Africa and the Cape is a whole different ball game. So are you nervous about this long trip? I mean, the, the coast on the coast of South Africa? Yeah, be yeah, I am. Because I never did the trip that is this long, but I'm in company with people that has so much experience that I, you know, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that I think it will turn out okay and uh, it gave me some experience how it is to maybe cross an ocean ourselves. In so you sent in a video, yeah, 60 second video, telling us why you should be on Dallas. Yeah. And I don't know why, but they picked me and now here I am. <laughs> <laughs> you know why, look at that smile, man. <laughs> Halloween on Delos. And we have our crew out. Uli is sleeping. I'm gonna go wake him up with the Green Man special. And I should wake him up with his mask. Yeah, you should. Such a creepy one. <laughs> Happy Halloween, Uli. Happy Halloween, Uli. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we're putting some costumes on. Oh. You have to wake up. And we're taking a shot of schnapps. Peppermint schnapps. <laughs> Get ready. One, two, three. Look at this. Mmm, yummy. Is it good? It is really good. I like it. Mexico and Madagascar. Okay, cool. Good morning, everybody. It's just a beautiful day today, and we're having some pretty chill sailing. Like, we've got about 10, maybe a little bit more breeze still out of the northwest, and we're just kind of cruising along. The seas are pretty nice and flat. Check it out. Not much of a sunrise today though because there's quite a bit of cloud cover. But it's beautiful sailing. And uh, unfortunately, Uli's still feeling sick. So Brady did his watch for him. And I've just been reading this morning. I decided to read this book which is a book that I haven't read in a long time. And it's actually the one that I read in Seattle years and years ago that really sparked my interest in, in sailing and traveling when I was working for the phone company. So I think it's cool to reread it with a little bit different perspective after having been gone for so long now. But um, don't really have a lot planned for the day. Just gonna chill out, do some reading. Uh, might try and get on the net at uh, eight. I think it's like half an hour from now. See if I can hear any of the other boats. 
Yeah, we are about 40 miles uh, north of the Cape. Just, we just turned south, sort of steering straight for that island. Okay, roger that. Uh, well, Calypso is right next to us, and so is Flower Girl. There's, so there's four of us here, three of you there, and uh, there were seven boats back in the Anchorage when we left. Wow, so this is the official exodus. I guess. Okay. Well, listen, um, I guess we'll see if anybody else wants to yak, yeah, okay? Delos. Does anybody copy Delos over? Morning, everybody. This is Shanti. Can uh, you give me a radio check, please, Doc? Over. I think this is working. So it's about 8 o'clock, and I just woke up, and it seems like we're doing really good. Oh, we are getting closer to the point where it's the closest to between Mozambique and. I'm still really tired. Madagascar. I'll show you here. So this is us, and we are just gonna make it on the coast slowly. Yeah, but if you could just let everybody know that we are everybody good, all is well on board, and uh, we're having problems transmitting at the moment, don't we? I'm also not able to transmit. I was supposed to have gotten hit by lightning, and my transmitter doesn't work. So. Um, I'll try, because uh, Calypso is right next to me. Hang on. Okay, no worries anyway, but uh, well, at least we can talk to each other on the VHF, I guess. Beautiful morning, but there's quite a lot of thunder around. Some of the guys said on the net that they almost got hit by some lightning, and his radio almost broke, which is not ideal, I guess. But everybody said that they've been catching fish, so we are being a bit lazy and haven't put our lines out yet. So me and Jens are keeping a watch outside and Brady is snoozing like all the cat. Look at him, what a little ball. What are you doing, Brio? I could even smell myself. Oh no. I was overdue for a shower. Oh, it smells real good in here though. Well, I'm gonna smell a lot better soon. Yeah. You've been using shampoo and I'm gonna put conditioner in my hair. What? And wash with soap. Maybe I'll put deodorant on if I get crazy. It's calm, huh? Mm. It's a good nice. shower time. Mm-hmm. Nice. Mm-hmm. He was overdue for a shower for sure. So we've been having really good conditions, but behind us it looks like we're having some gnarly shit coming up. <laughs> Look at that beast. It's coming. Well, the wind came up. Can you feel it? Yeah. You feel the cold coming before the front. It's about 25 knots, but it goes up and down a lot, changing directions. Ooh. <laughs> We're it's our first squall of the passage. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, nine knots. No thunder. No light. The wind is getting crazy. I can't steer. Yeah, we had a pretty close lightning strike. It shut down our nav instruments and GPS for a little while, but uh, they rebooted okay, and uh, all was well. Oh, that's good to hear. Good that you got your instruments working again. Yeah, it was a little bit touchy for a while, but uh, we're back to sailing. It's kind of, you know, all mixed, and the wind's a little bit all over the place, but uh, we're doing all right. It's cool to have other people around, which we never have. <laughs> like calling and just checking that everybody is fine and 
that we went through the school okay and stuff and if people have problems they can ask for help and I don't know we just never really do that that much so it's cool. it's cool but now the winds are just getting real strange and kind of dying on us so but my watch is over and Jens is on and I might just lay down for a little bit watch the rain up my hatch Look at the weather. How does the weather look like? Do you want to see what the weather looks like? I'll show you what the fucking weather looks like. Go outside and there's no wind. Where's the wine? Where is the wine? So we are... Day two. Here. Day two since leaving here. We've sailed nicely the past 24 hours to here. Where we've run into no wind. So, this is tomorrow, no wind. Wednesday, maybe wind, but out of the south. This is also if we're going six knots motoring, which we don't want to waste fuel doing. And then, if we keep going, we stay right on the edge of this no wind zone. And if there is wind, it's going to be right on us. And then it just really dies out. So this would, this would be what we'd like to do is be here at that time, but in order to do that we'd have to motor straight for three or four days. Because yeah. this is bosses to India, and to be there when the weather's like this is great. Is great but What is the situation? We have no wind. Oh, sorry. Yes. Sorry. You say it. <laughs> I'm just staring at the water. <laughs> There's nothing going on out here. I don't know what I'm doing. After the squall, it just died. Yeah. No, we have. We're making four knots. So. That is good speed. Yeah, it's perfect. We don't have to do shit. So this is kind of how it looks like, but it's not completely still. Yeah, we've been puttering along, but we just got a little bit more than we had before, just now. Beautiful sunset. It's 10 o'clock, the watch just started. It's hot. There's no wind. We're motoring. I guess it's better than being in 50 or 60 knots, but I wish there was some kind of wind for us to sail and we weren't wasting fuel. Anyways, I'm gonna try and watch Harry Potter for the 200th time and see if I like it this time. Good night. Just as Brady gave Harry Potter another try, the wind came up and all hell broke loose. Okay, I'm not entirely sure what is going on, but something happened with the bit Genoa. Something happened to our our jib halyard. I don't know if it chafed through or something, but we need to pull it down. So Karen, if you can take the helm and head us upwind, okay. And if you ease this when we tell you, and we'll pull pull yeah. the sail down. Oh. Shit. Okay, yeah. Ease on the sheet. Ease on the sheet. How much? Easy, easy. Oh. What yeah. happened? I don't know what happened. I was laying in bed back there and I heard the the Genoa flapping like crazy. And I came out here and Brady said we, we lost some halyard tension. Yeah. And so the, the line was still on and it looks like the top part where the, the Genoa connects to the furler okay. came off or it chafed through or something. So I'm gonna have to go up there and take a look and see what the deal is because we can't furl the sail. Uh, so we had to pull it all the way down, which is uh, fine. Okay. Um, but uh, if we're gonna sail tonight, then I might as well. The conditions are good to go up now. Power yet? Yeah. Okay, don't go too crazy. You can go the easy way. Somehow we lost our Genoa halyard. The sail was safely on deck, 
but I needed to go up and find out why, and hopefully retrieve the halyard so we could rehoist the sail. You're about halfway. Hey, Karen, can you try and head downwind? Just put it straight behind us. Yep. The bow's, the bow's bouncing a bit too much in the swell. Although the conditions look calm, even a small rock in motion on deck is magnified by Delos's mass 20 meters, over 60 feet from the water. It's a bit like a sailor's version of a rodeo, trying to hang on and work at the same time up there. It's a real ball smash. What was that big, oh, f Was that your balls hitting the force day? No, I flipped around the force day and got caught around and smashed my head in. Oh, so the, the small line totally just chafed through, huh? Yeah. I don't know what you'd do if you were a single-hander either. Yeah, true. We're like a couple. Like this would be really tough to do with just two people. The line connecting our higher to the head of the sail had chafed through, causing us to lose higher tension. Luckily, there was no real damage, and it only took a few minutes to find the cause of the chafe and replace the line. Pretty soon, we were back in business and under sail. It's beautiful this morning. It's really cool. The water is so like glass calm and the sun is just about to go up and it's not very hot yet. It's kind of that like nice breeze, like cool but not cold and it smells good too, like ocean. The wind so far on this passage have been super fluky, blowing for a few minutes and then changing direction as a squall passed by. Normally we'd hang out and enjoy the conditions, but this isn't an area you want to loiter. With massive systems barreling around South Africa and the Cape, time in the weather is extremely important. Rather than bob around, we decided to burn some of our precious diesel to continue making progress towards Durban. 385, I think. 385. 385. So what we'll do is... Maybe you take a reading at the end of the day and see how much we're burning per hour at this RPM. Yes. So unfortunately we are having some other issues with our electronics. Um, it has been going on for quite some time but it hasn't been this bad and now it's just our wind gauge stopped working completely. So. This means that we are steering by the little Swedish flag that I have put up and our gut. So you can see here, the wind says that it is 30 knots kind of on the beam, which is not true, it's a lie. The calm season winds gave me some time to investigate the problems with our wind instruments. A few emails with tech support over our Iridium revealed it was most likely a faulty ground or bonding connection, something to investigate in the coming days. So there's barely just enough wind to keep the sails full. And we're only going about like two, sometimes three knots if we're lucky. But we do have a little bit of current with us, which is sweet. And uh, really not a whole lot we can do. There's just no wind and there's no wind forecasted for at least another few days. So we're just hanging out and we don't really want to motor too much because we still have uh, about a thousand miles to go before Durban. So we can't use too much of our fuel. So we just kind of have to be patient and chill and uh, at least there's no big swells. So even though we're not going fast, it's very comfortable. Just kind of chilling out today, doing some reading. It's actually pretty rare to have seas this calm and flat around here. Last year in this area was blowing like stink. When the wind completely died, we decided to continue motoring at our most fuel efficient speed, which we found to be around five knots. At the first puff of breeze, we'd hoist sail to conserve our precious diesel. 
Up next, we decide to make a stop at Basasta, India for some epic diving with our sharky friends. Okay, sweet. First thing in the morning. <laughs> That's a wrap. <laughs> This is the first time I've plugged uh, headphones into the camera. So you so can I hear? I can hear it, but it's slightly delayed. It's slightly delayed, okay. Whoa, cool. it sounds crazy. No, but you're not saying that. <laughs> you look like a stripper on a big pole. Great. I don't know if my family jewels would be the same. They took a smashing. <laughs> <laughs> 